Hello there. In today's video, let us look at some of the best natural foods, rich in vitamin B3 or niacin. Our body needs a variety of vitamins and minerals to work effectively. Among the vitamin is the vitamin B3 or better known as niacin. It is the vitamin that convert the food we consume into energy. Now, let us get started. Vitamin B3, or niacin, is one of the eight B vitamins that are essential for our health. It is also known as nicotinic acid. Its primary role is to convert food that we consume into energy. The main amino acid required to produce this vitamin is tryptophan. While tryptophan is used to create protein, it can also be converted into niacin. That means, any food that is rich in tryptophan, are also good source for niacin. A severe lack of vitamin B3, can result in a fatal condition called pellagra. Currently, many countries have made it compulsory, for their wheat flour or other food grains, to be fortified, thus reducing the risk of pellagra. It is a water-soluble vitamin, and the body does not store this vitamin in our liver. Any excess of it will be excreted out by our kidney in urine. This means we need to consume this vitamin in our food every day. Now, let us look at some of the best natural food sources rich in vitamin B3. Number 1 lamb liver. Liver is a storehouse of vitamins. Compared it to any meat of the same animal, the liver has loads of vitamins and minerals. This is mainly because, those animals store their excess vitamin and minerals in their liver. Liver should not be consumed daily, as some of its nutrients exceeds the required daily value. Take it sparingly to avoid nutritional deficiency. A 3 ounce portion contains 75% of a person's daily value. Number 2. Chicken Breast. Chicken is the most common type of poultry in the world. Chicken is relatively easy and less costly to raise in comparison to animals such as cattle. Chicken meat consists of the breast, drumstick, thigh, and wing. It is considered healthier than other red meats, such as beef and pork due to its high contents of polyunsaturated fats. A 3 ounce serving contains 52% of daily value. Number 3. Tuna. Tuna is a saltwater fish that belongs to the same family as mackerel. Tuna is one of a few fish species that can maintain a body temperature higher than that of the surrounding water. Tuna has a sleek, streamlined body, and it is among the fastest fish in the ocean. Found in warm seas, it is extensively fished for commercial market, and is also a popular game fish. Skipjack, yellowfin, big eye, and albacore are among the widely available tuna fish in the market. A 3 ounce serving contains 62% of daily value. Number 4, Turkey. The turkey is a large, ground-feeding bird, native to North America. Male turkey has a distinctive fleshy wattle, called a snood, that hangs from the top of the beak. As with many large ground feeding birds, the male is bigger and much more colorful than the female. Male turkeys are called gobblers or toms, while the females are called hens. There are also jakes and jennies for young male and female turkeys. A 3 ounce portion has 50% of a person's daily value. Number 5, Salmon. Salmon is a common oily fish with a rich content of protein 
and omega-3 fatty acids. The fish has been long considered as a health-promoting, and exceptionally nutritious food. Salmon flesh is generally orange to red, although there are some wild salmon varieties, which has white flesh. Typically, salmon are anadromous, which means they live in both fresh and salt water. They hatch in fresh water, migrate to the ocean, then return to fresh water to reproduce. Salmon contains 43% of daily requirements, in a 3 ounce slice. Number 6, Anchovies. An anchovy is a small, common forage fish species, that mostly are found in marine waters, but also some species in brackish, or fresh water. Anchovies are classified as an oily fish. Anchovies are available in many forms but normally as anchovy paste, canned, dried, or salted. Though small, anchovies offer a good nutritional value with a taste. A serving of only 10 fish, contains almost 50% of a person's daily value. Number 7, Beef Meat. Beef is the third most widely consumed meat in the world, accounting for about 25% of meat production worldwide. Beef is an excellent source of protein, minerals and vitamins. Most beef can be used as is, by merely cutting it into certain parts, such as roasts, short ribs, or steak, while other cuts are processed. Beef meat provides 95% of daily needs for vitamin B3, in a 3 ounces servings. Number 8, Peanuts. The peanut, also known as the groundnut, is a legume crop grown mainly for its edible seeds. It is widely grown in the tropics and subtropics. It is classified as both a grain legume, and as an oil crop, due to its high oil content. So, technically, the peanut is not a nut but belongs to the legume family. Peanuts are rarely eaten raw. Instead, they are most often consumed roasted or as peanut butter. Besides this, it is also used for making peanut oils. A serving of 32 grams, provides about 25% of a person's, daily vitamin B3 requirements. Number 9, Avocado. The avocado is a pear-shaped, nutrient-dense fruit, containing a single large seed. They are not sweet but has creamy, and buttery texture, due to its high fat content. It offers wide variety of nutrients, vitamins and minerals. Avocados comes in many shapes, and color, from pear-shaped to round, and from green to black color. It contains 25% of daily value for vitamin B3, in just a single fruit. Number 10, Brown Rice. Brown rice is a whole grain rice, with only the inedible outer hull removed. White rice is the same grain, without the bran layer, and the germ. That is important because, the less processed the grain, the more nutrients you get. The bran and the germ, the two outer layers of brown rice, contain most of the vitamins, and minerals in the grain. One cup of brown rice, provides 26% of a person's daily needs. Number 11, Whole Wheat. A whole wheat, is the grain of the wheat, that contains the endosperm, the germ, and the bran, in contrast to refined wheat, which retain only the endosperm. As part of a general healthy diet, consumption of whole wheat is associated, with lower risk of several diseases. Whole wheat are a source of carbohydrates, multiple nutrients, and dietary fiber. 
2 slice of whole wheat bread will provide 18% of a person's daily vitamin B3 needs. Number 12. Mushrooms. A mushroom, or a toadstool, is the fleshy, spore-bearing fruiting body of a fungus, typically produced above ground, or on the soil, or on its food source. Mushrooms can range from an everyday fare, to a costly delicacy, and it is available fresh, canned, or dried. Mushrooms has always known for their excellent taste, and its amazing health benefits. It is packed with loads of vitamin, and minerals essential for our body. A cup of mushroom, contains about 15% of daily value for vitamin B3. Number 13, Green Peas. Sweet, delicious green peas, also popular as garden peas, is one of the ancient cultivated vegetables. It is grown for their delicious and nutritious green seeds. Green peas are one of the most nutritious, leguminous vegetables. It is rich in health promoting phytonutrients, minerals, vitamins, and antioxidants. In a serving of one cup, green peas provides 20% of the daily values for vitamin B3. Number 14. Potato. Potato, is an annual plant in the nightshade family, grown for its starchy edible tubers. It is native to the Peruvian Andes region. It is one of the world's main food crops, and has many varieties. The waxy potato will retain their shape when cooked, while the starchy one breaks down. It can be served whole, mashed, and also grounded into flour. A single potato, contains about 25% of a person's daily needs for vitamin B3. Niacin, or vitamin B3, is an essential nutrient for our body. It cannot be synthesized by our body, and need to be consumed through our diet. It aids in metabolism, and nervous system health. There are many foods, that is rich in vitamin B3. There is also plenty of vegan foods, that is rich in this vitamin. On top of that, most of our processed foods, are also enriched with this vitamin. We need to eat healthy, to ensure that we obtained adequate amount of this vitamin, to stay healthy. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, please share, like, and subscribe our channel. Click the bell icon and let's meet again in our next video. See you soon.